I'm back. I'm doing it. I'm making episode two. I didn't completely abandon the project immediately uh, like I thought I was going to. So who knows? Maybe I'm in it for the long haul on this one. But let's talk about the one man movie show. Let's start and um, talk about my mood as far as this project goes. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I posted that first video um, and no one really cared except for friends and family, but that's totally fine. I didn't expect you know this to be something that people would jump on immediately. I don't really expect people to jump on it at all. Why would anybody watch this um, over the millions and millions of alternative options that they have that are more highly produced and obviously entertaining. But anyways, yeah, I, I am just happy to have gotten something out and to be, at this point, sticking with uh, a project. All right, so let's talk about my week of brainstorming. I don't know why, but I have been getting fixated on um, very particular things, which I think are going to make their way uh, into my script. The first idea that I've become fixated on is breakfast, specifically cereal. I don't know why. Um, once I started thinking about like what type of story I wanted to tell for this one man movie show project, I for some reason immediately got this weird image of a guy, a de like a depressed guy sitting at his kitchen table um, with a box of cereal. He's like all depressed and then his cereal box is like this bright, colorful, sugary cereal like Lucky Charm. The second idea that I had was um, more of a practical uh, conscious decision where when I was thinking about um, the limitations of this challenge where I can only have one actor um, on screen that, that knows that he's in the movie, um, I realized uh, that that is going to be very difficult to tell a story with because most stories you have multiple characters and the characters are interacting and bouncing off of each other and then they're, they develop and my movie's not going to have that because I only have one guy. And so I figured a way that I could get around it, my guy speaking to voices that only he can hear and um, also eating breakfast. That's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of the germ of the idea. It's gonna be kind of a story about the butterfly effect. And for anybody who's watching this who doesn't know, um, the butterfly effect is this concept where um, seemingly insignificant actions or choices um, create a ripple effect. The example that is always used is in one corner of the world, a butterfly flaps its wings and then a ripple effect of events happen because that butterfly fla uh, flapped its wings and it results in a hurricane in another part of the world. My movie is going to be about that, but it's going to be about a guy uh, deciding what he wants for breakfast and depending on what he eats for breakfast, it's going to spiral into um, wildly divergent narratives. So um, in one sequence, he might choose cereal for breakfast and then it results in a giant monster attacking his town. In another sequence, he might choose eggs and bacon for breakfast and it results in him uh, getting fired from his job. Um, in another one, he might just have coffee for breakfast and um, it results in the end of the world or something, you get the idea. In addition, I think there's gonna be like a narrator that goes over it, kind of like a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy type narration where it's like kind of sardonic and um, that narrator will function as a second character um, that the main guy will react to. He can hear the narration and he can comment upon it or get into arguments with the narrator. Um, so I think those are the two uh, characters that I have. I have the guy choosing breakfast, and then I have the narrator. And the narrator is unseen, and I will provide the voice of the narrator. I'm gonna start writing this thing. I'm gonna jot down ideas, I'm gonna try and come up with specific scenes, and I'm gonna try and plot out the entire movie from beginning to end. Yeah, cool. So a pretty short uh, update video, pretty short video diary. Um, hopefully some more people will jump along for this ride. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I don't care. I do, please. Encourage me, make me feel good about myself. That's it. I will, I'll talk to you guys later. I guess, call me, bye, bye.